John has nine and one fourths pounds of flour. He gives two four fifths pounds of flour to his neighbor Sally. How many pounds of flour does John have left? If he is giving away some of his flour, he is going to have less than what he started, not more. So therefore, this is a subtraction problem, not an addition problem. So we're subtracting two mixed numbers. We have nine and one fourth, and we're going to subtract it by two and four fifths. So let's break up nine and one fourth into nine plus one four. And then we're going to subtract it by two and by four over five. We need to distribute the negative to the two and the four fifths. So we have nine plus negative two or nine minus two, which in both cases will be seven. And then plus one over four minus four over five. So let's get common denominators. I'm gonna multiply the first fraction using the denominator of the second. So we'll multiply one over four by five over five. And the second fraction will multiply it using the denominator of the first fraction. So we'll multiply it by four over four. So let's write the whole number seven. Here we have five times one, which is five. Five times four is 20 minus four times four is 16. Five times four is 20. Now, 5 minus 16 is negative 11. So we're going to have 7 minus 11 over 20, or negative 11 over 20. What should we do here? What we can do is we can borrow a 1 from 7. So 7 is 6 plus 1. And this one, we can multiply by 20 over 20. So we have 6 plus 20 over 20 minus 11 over 20, because 20 divided by 20 is 1. So now we have 6 plus 20 minus 11 is 9. So this is 9 over 20. And as a mixed number, this will be 6 and 9 20. So that's how many, that's how much flour John will have left after giving some to his neighbor Sally. So that's the answer, six and nine twentieths.